Hi, I'm Amy, and welcome today. We are talking about Wikipedia for genealogy. Really? Yes. Now, we know Wikipedia is this great platform that I don't know what we would do without, right? It gives us the answers to so many things that we're just dying to know. And genealogy has its own Wikipedia. It's the Family Search Research Wiki. The Family Search Research Wiki was patterned after Wikipedia. It is a community-based archive of information, but it's very well maintained and it has a lot of really great information in it. And this is something if you're not familiar with, you do not want to miss it. It's essential for understanding a lot of things about researching a particular location or just learning to research in general. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can get into the Family Search Research Wiki, as well as what some of the things are that you can use that are there for you. If this is of help for you, please like it. That way YouTube knows it's good content. All right, so here's the Family Search page. Now to use the Family Search Research Wiki, you do not need to have a an account with Family Search like you do to look at a lot of the other items in Family Search. So when you go to the Family Search page at familysearch.org, you'll go right up here to Search and Research Wiki. And here you have a map of the world that you can narrow down by a particular location, but there's a couple of other things that I wanna point out to you as well. Um, right over here on this side are some really interesting little um, tabs. Um, you can go to About the Wiki that talks a little bit about the Wiki and how it was created and what its purpose is, which is to assist in genealogy research. Um, as well as here are some of the different record resources, the Wiki policies. But the other thing that's really cool right here is you can give feedback, you can submit Wiki content or report a problem, or you can become an editor of the Wiki, which is great. Now about the Wiki, I'm gonna scroll down here and there's two basic things that you're looking at when you're searching the Wiki. One is you're going to be searching by country or location, or you're gonna be searching by content. And I think a lot of people know about the location, but they don't know as much about the different content questions. So you can get to those here if you want. Now, the country one, I'm gonna go back and show you in a minute, but the content, this doesn't seem like there's a lot here. But if you go to articles by topic, um, it will talk to you about reference materials, repositories, the research process and instruction, which is great for beginning genealogists, professional genealogists, and then it goes through all different types of things that a professional genealogist might wanna know. So this is something that a lot of people don't really know is there. But I'm gonna go back over here to the top now and show you a couple of different other choices that you have. You can search right here by place or topic. So let's say I'm into African American research. So here's an article for how to do African American genealogy research. Here's the Southern Claims Commission, which is some of the Freedman Bank records. Um, there's lots of different information in here. So if you're into something like that, that's something that you wanna do. And if I were to go to this general article, how to do African American research, here we have an African American genealogy page. And this talks about the different African American pages in each state, as well as different archive records that you could have, how to do African-American genealogy research if this is something that's new to you. One of the things that I love about the research wiki is that within the wiki, they're going to link you to other pages. It's not just things that you can find within Family Search. So it's something that a lot of times will guide me to a record that maybe I didn't know already. So here are key internet links which can be taking me to other websites. If I click on the Civil War soldiers and sailor, sailors. This is a National Park Service um, website and it has a database of Civil War soldiers. So it's a great resource. So now I'm back at my homepage. Let's say that I am looking for help with researching military records. Here they have a whole wiki page on military records with all kinds of information where you can find them. Um, how do you find them? All right, so let's go back now and I wanna show you the um, how to search by an area. Now you can either like go this way and you know type go to North America and type in the United States and go that way if you want to go to the state or you can type in a place here. Let's say I'm doing research in Chicago, Illinois. All right so this gives me all kinds of articles about the history of Chicago, the different community areas within Chicago, um, street numbering information, when they change street numbering, different repositories that specialize in, in records in Chicago. 
um, as well as some of the records that are specifically for Chicago. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos, you know that a lot of times records are held on a county level. I could type in Cook County. I often get to these pages by just doing a Google search. If you type in the words of any county in the United States and the state, and then type the word genealogy after it, this wiki page for that county will come up in within your first usually three results. So that's another way that you can quickly get to these pages. You don't have to go through the research wiki process. So now I'm back on familysearch.org and I wanna show you all the county pages. Now, they also have similar information on some of the other countries in the uh, outside of the United States. Um, I specialize in United States research, so I know a lot more about that than I know about the countries, but you definitely wanna be looking at these other countries if you're researching outside of the United States. They have similar information and it's super helpful. So let's just use this as an example. So here they have, you know, this top part, which is great, but they have the organization and they have the known beginning dates for major records. So we know that birth records began in 1872, but statewide registration didn't start until 1916 with compliance, but in 1922. So if I'm looking for somebody that was born in 1850, I'm probably not gonna find a birth record for them, at least a government issued birth record, right? So already this page has answered some questions. Some alternate records they give you that you might be able to find some information because of so many of these records were destroyed in 1871 by the Chicago fire. Maybe you're like striking out trying to find your Chicago records and the reason that you're striking out is that these records were destroyed in a fire. The other thing that I really love about these pages are the boundary changes. So Cook County was created from Putnam County in 1831 and it tells you kind of how these counties were formed. This is really important because county records are held on the county in which they were created in most instances. So if you're looking for a record of, of uh, maybe a land purchase or something like that that occurred in the Cook County area, but it occurred before 1831, before Cook County was Cook County, then you're gonna be looking in Putnam, Putnam <laughs> Get there. Putnam County for that record. They talk about record loss and some other places that you can go for records. Archives that you can go to in the area. All of this information, and then this is one of my other favorite things, is then they have a list of libraries that service that county, along with links to their websites. Um, and then some societies, some genealogical and historical societies. These guys can be super crucial in your research. So here we have all kinds of information that you can get if you're researching in Cook County. Now let's say you're a beginning genealogist and you have no idea what I'm talking about because you're not into it that deep yet. Hey, that's fine. And the wiki pages can be helpful for you as well. You can either use this guided research that will take you through the process of where you're looking for records. Like say I'm looking for records in Italy I don't know the province, or I don't even, I don't have any information how I might be able to find the town of origin. This guided research is really helpful, particularly for beginning genealogists or intermediate genealogists even. I use it sometimes and I'm a professional genealogist, so don't be shy. One of the other things that I wanna take you to, on this left side tab right here under research resources, they have a whole section here on beginning genealogy with lots of articles on things that you can do to start your family history, how to organize your genealogy and things like that. There's videos and classes on how to better use the wiki. So if you haven't used the research wiki before, I hope this video encourages you to do so. If you have used the research wiki and maybe aren't aware of all of the different opportunities that you can have within the research wiki, maybe this has given you that information as well. I don't know what I'd do without it. I'm on this research wiki almost on a daily basis. And so I hope it's successful for you as well. I would really appreciate if this video has been of help to you. If you like it, throw some comments in there. If you have anything to add or any other questions, I'm gonna try to answer those for you. And subscribe to the channel if you click the bell. That will get, make sure that you're notified whenever I release a new video. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.